Hey folks, Drunken Homemaker here, and today I'm gonna do a video about how to get hard water stains off of the leaves of your plants. Now, we have about a 10 inch Schifflera Amate, I think that's how you say the name. It's an Australian plant, and it is beautiful. It's basically like a sh regular Schifflera, except super cool and gnarly looking because it's from Australia. Um, and I fell in love with this plant as soon as I saw it, but I noticed all of these um, water stains on the leaves, hard water stains, I should say. Um, if you live in a place with hard water, most of the time when you buy a plant, you're gonna see these on it just because they're watering this all willy nilly and not necessarily just hitting the soil. And as soon as the water touches the leaves, it kind of sticks on there, doesn't look too nice. You don't have to live with it. That's the beautiful thing of this. Um, you just have to follow my instructions and we'll take care of that. Um, I like this. I like doing stuff like this cause it's like mindful and it's just, you know, if you're having an off day and you can't take care of yourself, sometimes it's nice to take care of something that needs your help. Um, and I feel like this plant is, it doesn't look like it's diseased. It looks really healthy. Look at this brand new shiny leaf at the top. Can you see that? So pretty. This is a very happy plant, so we don't need to do much of anything to it um, except for clean off those leaves so they can take in as much sunlight as is possible um, once those leaves are nice and clean. All right, so let's get right into it. What do we need for this project? You need a little cup. My mom just got me this, so I'm gonna use it. You're gonna be creating a solution that we are going to be using to rub down and clean the plant, and you need a little cup, a little receptacle to put it in. The second thing you're going to need is a little bit of Dawn soap. When I talk about products that are heavy lifters, that are just, they just make sense and they're just good, which is rare in our world, Dawn soap, it's one of the top. I use it all the time. I use it for everything. I use it to clean. I use it for my plant stuff. It is, look at the little ducky. They save wildlife. I mean, not sponsored, but <laughs> Don, call me. We're gonna need some cotton rounds. So something that looks like this. You can use a microfiber if you wanna, <laughs> there's just so much fuzz that just flew into the air. You can use a microfiber if you would like, um, but if you want to try to keep your leaves as healthy as possible, it might be a good idea to switch up the cotton round every once in a while, but not necessary. All right, so the secret ingredient, the thing that's gonna change your life and the thing that you're gonna be like, wow, how did I not know this before? Lemon juice. This is Aldi brand lemon juice. Nature's nectar, as it were. This is gonna break down the hard water stains on your leaves. So this is gonna be, you know, mostly what's going in here. So I'm gonna take this little cup. I'm going to pour some of the lemon juice in and um, I'm gonna do like maybe three parts lemon juice, one part uh, Dawn soap, if that makes sense. I'm eyeballing it, so don't judge me. So I'm gonna do the lemon juice first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw in some Dawn soap, and I forgot to mention something that you're gonna use, and again, I'm eyeballing this. The reason that I'm using the Dawn soap is because it's a good idea with any plant that you get to just you know create like a spray or something. Since I'm putting this in the shower, I wanna make sure that um, I am going to just be rinsing off the leaves of anything that the plant might have brought in with it. And I'm just using this little whisk to whisk in the soap with the lemon juice. I hope that was clear. I'm using probably too much lemon juice. I don't think we'll need this much, but who knows? Maybe we will. Perfect. Lemony soap. It actually doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty nice. So I'm gonna start actually with this bottom leaf. I'm gonna take my cotton round I'm gonna dip it in here, and I'm not gonna oversaturate it. I'm just gonna try to aim for full saturation of the cotton round, which doesn't take much. So I'm gonna start with this bottom leaf here because this is the one I think I'm gonna try to focus in on when I zoom in. And I'm just going to, any part that I see covered with hard water stain, just gonna rub that in. And I'm not gonna be too precious about wiping it away right away because like I said, this is going in the shower after this. And we're just gonna rinse off anything and make sure to get the back of the leaves because again, we're using the Dawn soap, so 
to hopefully suffocate anything. If there is anything on the leaf, just making sure to cover both sides. So right now it's uh, wet, which is why it looks shiny and gorgeous like that. But as you know, with hard water stains, a lot of times you can wipe a leaf and while it's wet, it looks like it's doing great and it's clean and shiny. But then as soon as it dries, that's when you start to be able to tell, oh, the hard water stains are still there. That looks phenomenal. Like it looks like night and day. It's kind of crazy. So I'm just going to finish wiping this leaf down and you're going to kind of be able to tell like when you need a refresh and really focus on this part. Take your time with this part because there's a lot of parts you're not going to be able to see. So just be very tactile, throw on a podcast, throw on some tunes. Let this be the thing that you do today that you're excited about. You're not going to be able to tell just by looking at the, at the cotton swab that it's pulling everything up. But like this one is glossy and healthy looking. I'm also going to do the stems because the stems got a lot of hard water on them. Oh my goodness. It's crazy how much like dust and just debris. Okay. So I'm moving on to my second cotton round. I'm going to do the bottom level and then I'm going to switch the camera so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. All right. And then I'm going to just work on this stem. I know I just harmed my plant, but that was my fault. I was being too rough with it. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do a little bit of a close up so that you can see um, what it looks like up close and personal. So this is what it looks like up close. These are the glossy leaves that I just cleaned. You can see it's really glossy. <laughs> it's really nice. So I'll show you how it cleans so you can see how intense it is. My fingers are so dusty because there's just so much stuff coming off of these plants. It's kind of crazy. All right, so we're gonna start with this one over here. Just so you can see how it's a bit soapy, just a bit. You don't wanna go crazy with the dawn. And then I'm doing the back of the leaf as well. Make sure you do those stems. Make sure you do every part of the plant. And we'll just let that dry. All right. So I'm just cleaning the top here. really is like a, like a deep cleaning solution. It's nice, but you know, all natural ingredients. And you see the stem is covered with like dust and hard water. Let's also clean that. All right, I'm just gonna do like maybe one or two more of these and then I'm gonna take a break to do the rest of the plant because this is very tedious to do this close up to the camera. There was something on that leaf that I just took off and I'm not sure what it was. I'm gonna switch to a clean cotton round. It's crazy. It's crazy how different the leaves look. All right, look at that. This one had a little tear in it. As soon as I tried to unfurl it. Just gonna do these. The stem. The top here. And this is a tough leaf. Obviously, if you have some more delicate leaves that you're working with, don't go as hard as I'm going now. But I think this, this plant can definitely, definitely take it. So already this plant's looking way, way, way better. Uh, I am going to very quickly do the rest of this plant so that I can throw it in the shower and be done with it. And like I said, I do like to leave it to like a day that it, you know, could use some water. That way I don't feel too bad about throwing it in the shower. And these plants do tend to love those types of situations where they're getting drenched. Remember, that's where they originate from a lot of times. So it looks so good already. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut off the camera. I am going to continue to clean this plant, including the stems and all that good stuff. And then I will take it upstairs for a little bath and I'll hopefully be able to show you, bring you along for that journey. All right, be right back. So same plant is now upstairs in the bathroom and it's looking pretty good. Just with having 
put that solution on all of the leaves. It's looking really glossy, really happy. But I'm gonna take it an extra step. I'm gonna take it out of its liner. Hi. And this one's nice because it came in just like a regular white liner. All right, I think I'm gonna have to pull, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull it from the branch. Oh goodness. You can't see this, but a lot of roots there on the bottom. And I apologize for the quality in the video because I couldn't bring my lights set up in here. So we're gonna have to make do with the lights we have. Gonna move the liner off to the side and I'm just gonna readjust the camera real quick. <laughs> and this is the only shower that has that, um, the shower head handle. So I kind of have to do it up here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do this in a way that you can see. I'm gonna take the shower head down, face it off to the side, turn it on, and we're going for warm. Not hot, not cold, somewhat lukewarm. And this will just take it over the edge. It'll just make sure that it's got a nice fresh start. And then I'm just making sure we're watering the plant itself. That looks pretty good. I'm quite pleased. Turn that off. Didn't make too much of a mess here, which is nice. Um, but now we're just gonna let that plant air dry. And I'm going to throw it back in its original spot when it's nice and dry. Hey, beautiful people. So it is the next day. It went really well. The leaves look so good. There was like a few spots that I missed that I can see now that she's glossy and happy. But I think that this is a really good option if you have a plant that has hard water stains, clearly looks like it's been, you know, struggling. This one probably was just dusty, but I wanted to take that opportunity to just show you if you ever have a plant that has hard water stains, you've tried, you know, washing it with water, nothing's coming out. Try the lemon juice, a uh, little bit of Dawn soap. I mean, she's clean. She is tidy. She is shiny, glossy. I mean, <laughs> she's so beautiful. I love her. Um, I also just came from Aldi. We did a, we went on a walk because today was 60 degrees in Buffalo. It's amazing. So we went on a walk, we went to Aldi and I got my mom a little belated Valentine's Day gift. I'm gonna show it to you because I'm gonna give it to her tomorrow before this video goes out. I found an anthurium. What, with little, little red. I don't know if those are flowers. I think they're flowers. Look how cute. And she looks really healthy. She looks really happy. Uh, very, I would say fairly clean leaves. So yeah, so I'm gonna give this to her tomorrow. Um, not sponsored, but Aldi, any day of the week. I love you so much. You're my ride or die. Please let me know if you like content like this by pressing the thumbs up button or the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Just gonna go grab a whisk, a whisk, a whisk. I know, made a mess. What else is in? This is probably very ASMR. <laughs>